All right, so I'm going to call this video Operation Chain Line um, because I'm going to take this down to the father in law's shop who has a low more tools, things like drill presses and stuff. And we're going to try and get this, I don't know if you can see here with this light, try and get this chain line central on that nice big gear. Let's see what we can work out. The first thing I did was to dismantle the 10 speed cassette to see exactly which chunks it might break down into. This is a Sunrace cassette and it resulted in two sections of three gears and four individual smaller gears. I decided to put the smaller group of three cogs in first to give some better spacing to the big gear, the 42 tooth, which is the one I really wanted to be in the best position. And the other four gears I just put back in the same place. It turned out actually to be pretty easy to get the gear I wanted in the correct position. What turned out to be more difficult was getting the set screw to lift the rear derailleur out of the way of the large cog. And I suspect that's partly due to the stress the motor has weakened the set screw to the point where it was no longer lifting it into the right place. So in the end, uh, we kind of MacGyvered a fix in using a longer M4 bolt some nuts and a washer um, and locked it in place. So effectively, although I still have the gearing system on the bike, it's being locked now to a single speed, which is fine. Um, the chain line is, is excellent now and it definitely sounds uh, a good deal smoother, like I'm not grinding away at the gears and chain when I ride. Uh, hopefully this will increase the life of my components. Okay, so here is the final chain line set in place. I don't know if you can see that here. It's much better. Looks much neater. A very quick twist on the throttle. And there we go. Good clearance down here with the derailleur. Looking much better. Looking longer term, I still want to switch out and just have a single gear without all the other stuff in there. Uh, maybe use a more heavy duty chain and just a chain tensioner. I think I can probably just use a heavy duty chain as it stands and I'll try that once the current one wears out. Uh, another option would be to use a uh, 36 tooth gear on the front, driving uh, a smaller gear on the back. So still getting the one-to-one -one gear ratio that seems to work really well here. Uh, finding a tensioner that clears a 42 tooth cog has been pretty difficult so far. Uh, I've drawn a blank. Uh, if I had straight dropouts, presumably I'd be able to get rid of the chain tension altogether and just have a straight chain running to the rear cog. So no derailleur, no nothing. Um, I don't think that's feasible though with the vertical dropouts that this bike has. Um, if anybody has any pointers for this stuff, um, let me know in the comments because I am by no means an expert on this. 